Guys, it is Tuesday today and you know what that means. It's Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm showing you guys how to make an adventure t-shirt design using Illustrator. So grab some coffee, sit back, relax, learn as much as you can, take some notes if you need to. You guys already know what time it is. Let's go ahead and open up Illustrator and get started. I have this adventure badge style design right here. The ship that you see in the center I did find on freepick.com. I've been using it on these tutorials and I do that simply because it's easier for you guys to go download it and follow along with these tutorials. So I'm gonna link that uh, graphic in the description below so you guys can go download it. And the fonts that I'm using today are free fonts that I found online so I will also put those in the description below for you guys. So yeah, I designed these tutorials so you guys can follow along really easily. If I sat here drawing everything from scratch, it would take a lot longer to teach you guys and most of you probably don't draw so it's a lot more complicated that's exactly why I use freepick.com which I do pay for by the way and they're not sponsoring this video so anyway with that out of the way here is the graphic that we're gonna be using today what well, was right here so here's the graphic that we're gonna be using today what I did to prepare this bottle was basically take off the texture by merging everything together and I had to re-add all these highlights before we get started though I need to create a new artboard so I'm just gonna go over here where my artboards are and I'm gonna uh, hit this little page button on the bottom right and that is going to create a new artboard. And if you don't see artboards, all you have to do is go up to window and check artboards and you will see that. So now we have an extra artboard. So what I could do is go to my graphic now and I can go command C on my keyboard or you could just uh, edit, copy, and then you can go on your artboard right here and paste it. So now we have our ship imported, but what we need to do now is start putting together the actual badge. So what we wanna do is go to our ellipse by uh, either hitting L on our keyboard or going to the shapes palette and going to ellipse. We wanna hold in shift and we wanna drag out a perfect ellipse. And what I wanna do is I wanna invert it. So I just wanna go to the bottom and I wanna switch the fill color to the stroke color. And I wanna make sure that stroke is around seven points and I'm gonna keep that color of the stroke black. Now what I wanna do is basically select the ellipse and I wanna copy it. So I'm gonna do command C and I believe that is control C on a PC and then we want to hold in shift uh, command and then V and what that's gonna do is paste it in place and now we can resize it so now we have two ellipses and we're just resizing it holding in shift and option to do that and what that does is it basically keeps it centered while you resize it proportionally so it's really really uh, useful to use these shortcuts so uh, we're gonna go about this big with that center ellipse and we want to make that fill color black again and now what I want to do is go to my rectangle or we can hit M on our keyboard and I want to make sure it's centered using my smart guides which they are showing me that this is centered and I can make this a different color to help you guys visualize what I'm doing so now we have the rectangle on top of our ellipse now we need to actually minus the front of it so we need to select both of them real quick and we need to go to minus front on the pathfinder and then we just hit minus front and it's going to delete that rectangle from the background which is our ellipse and now we are left with half of the circle which is exactly what we wanted now we can start piecing this design together so what I want to do is go to my text tool real quick so I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and I want to type out the big all right, all lowercase, so the big, and I'm using a font called Bernier. It's a free font, so I will link that in the description below for you guys. It's a really awesome font. Um, so now what we wanna do is basically drag this in place and make it bigger, obviously, because it's not big enough right now. So we're gonna make it much bigger. About right there is fine. We can even lower the kerning on it. So I'm holding an option and hitting my left and right arrow keys. That looks pretty good, so we're gonna keep that as is. Now what I wanna do is actually hit T on my keyboard one more time, and we're gonna type out adventure, just like this. So adventure, and we want to go to our second font, which is campground. Again, I will link that in the description below. So I'm gonna go to campground. And we're just gonna drag this in place. So we're gonna put it just right there. I made the adventure font 31 points. So what I wanna do now is actually outline this text. So I'm gonna do Shift Command O, and that's gonna outline it. After outlining the text, if I zoom in on it, you can see that it's actually broken apart into individual letters, I guess you can say. So what I need to do now is actually merge it together. So I'm going to my Pathfinder, and I'm just gonna hit this very bottom middle selection called Merge. We're gonna hit that, and it's gonna combine everything together. We're gonna to zoom out now. We are good to go. Now what I wanna do is center this text, and I wanna kind of make it bleed into the other text above it so it's hovering over the big text line so now that that is set in place what we want to do is actually do command c on it shift command v so what i'm doing is copying it pasting it in place and making it white and then we're also going to add a white stroke so we're just going to add that white stroke real quick and then we're going to send it to the back using command and the left bracket so now we have the big adventure we're doing pretty good now so we're going to add the bottom text we're going to type out since 1991 so since 1991 and we are going to change that to Bernier, and we're just gonna change that to the regular Bernier, not the distressed version. We're just gonna resize it real quick and change the kerning again. 
We're gonna drag that in place just like this. Now what I need to do is create two lines. So I'm gonna go to my pen tool real quick and I'm gonna select one point on the left and one point on the right. And then I need to change the stroke thickness. So I'm gonna go about one point with this. That looks pretty good. Now we need to duplicate it and change the width because it's gonna be too long for the bottom. To duplicate it, all I do is select it, hold an option and drag down once. And then from here I can hit A on my keyboard for direct selection tool. I can double select one side and drag it in just like this. And then I can recenter it to my artboard. So as you can see, it has a nice balance now. Um, um, it could definitely be a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna select the right side and use my arrow keys to make it a little bit longer. And then we're gonna recenter that to the artboard and look at it real quick from a distance. I think that looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, the top has this nice little gap between the inner circle and the outer circle. So I think that it would have been nice if that gap kind of looks like it continued on. If you were to follow this gap around the circle, it would hit the E, right? So it would probably be better to either resize the adventure or change the kerning so it's less wide and more condensed or find a different font that works better. But um, I think it looks fine, so we're gonna keep it. From here, we're gonna go ahead and grab our ship. I'm gonna duplicate it and change it to white. Before I recolor the ship, what I wanna do is actually delete these highlights because they don't really need to be there. I'm deleting these so it bleeds through the other side, right? So when I put it on that background and change this ship to white, those are gonna actually turn to black. Now we can change the ship to white. As you can see, those highlights are basically changing to the color of the background. So when we drag this in place now, watch what's gonna happen. Let me put that in front of everything. And uh, we also got to resize it, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. I resized it and put it in place, and as you can see, these highlights turn black because that is what color our ellipse is, and that's exactly what I wanted. And I also made sure the bottom was touching the white background here, so everything kind of bleeds together really nicely. Another thing I did is I created some quick clouds because everything looked kind of just plain to me, and I felt like the background needed something more. So what I did is I went to my ellipse tool, or you can hit L on your keyboard, like I said, and then I wanted to make sure black was selected. So I have black selected, and then I just dragged out some circles and created a quick cloud. The trick to making really good clouds is creating different uh, size circles and combining them in a way that makes them look like clouds. So as you guys can see, we have a nice little cloud shape going on already. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but this is just to show you guys that you can create uh, more complex shapes out of basic shapes. We're gonna merge that all together now. We're gonna drag it in place and change it to white. We're using that white background to hide the clouds that are white because the background's white. So it's a really nice little trick that you can use. You don't have to do any masking or anything like that. It works pretty good. So uh, anyway, now we're just gonna drag them out and kind of resize them in place. I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna zoom out now. And as you can see, we have a nice little badge. I'm not done yet. I wanna add some texture to this to really make it pop. So I'm gonna select the entire design, group it, and drag it onto my new artboard. And I'm gonna recenter it just like this. And we can even zoom in on it. And from here, what I wanna do is expand everything. I wanna expand the strokes, the colors, everything. So I'm gonna select the entire design, go up to object, and I'm gonna hit expand. And I wanna do this once or twice to make sure everything is expanded. And I think it is, and then I can merge everything together. From here, we can go up to effect, go to meso tint, and this is a nice little texture trick. And we can go to meso tint, and we can add medium dots to it or granny dots. It's really your preference. Now we have some texture, it looks pretty gross though. So in order to fix that, we need to go to object, go to rasterize, and we wanna make sure rasterize is transparent on the background. Once you rasterize it, you wanna go ahead and hit image trace. This is where the magic actually happens. Um, and then go into image trace panel. And then from here, we can lower the noise a little bit. And this is gonna introduce more of that grain that we just added. And then raise the percentage on path, and that's going to bring some clarity back. Normally, when you texture this way, you lose a lot of clarity in the text. So in order to bring that back, just raise the percentage on path, and it will bring back some clarity, and it will bring back shape to that text, right? Try it out, it really helps a lot. And then from here, we can just adjust the threshold if we wanted to. Um, I think this looks pretty good. The last step is actually clicking ignore white, and that's going to delete all the white parts from the design, leaving us with one color, which is exactly what we want. And if I put that on the gray background, you can see that it is one color, and that is it, guys. That is all you have to do to make this adventure design. You guys just watched another Tutorial Tuesday, and I hope you learned something new. It's so much fun taking these shapes, basic shapes, and turning it into a complicated design that we can print on a shirt, we can use as a logo, whatever we want. Sky really is the limit. I hope my videos can inspire you and teach you something new each time. So if they did, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. You already know, guys, keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.